Hey guys, welcome to Everyday We're Calculating. Today we are going to talk about powers of 10. Our fifth grade standard is numbers and base 10 too. So our learning objectives today are explain the patterns for the number of zeros in a product and explain and represent why the decimal point shifts when you're multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. So Let's get started. Let's discuss some powers of 10 and let's see what patterns we notice. So I'm going to start with 10 to the first power, which is simply 10 times 1. And we know anything times 1 is always that number. 10 to the second power is just 10 times 10 because I have two groups of 10. And 10 times 10 is 100. 10 to the third power is 10 times 10 times 10. So I have three groups of 10, which gives me three zeros, and the number with three zeros is 1,000. 10 to the fourth power is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, and you got it, one with four zeros. Don't forget, after every three digits, you need a comma. So already from this, we see that we have one zero, two zeros, three zeros, and four zeros. So as you increase in powers, all you're doing is simply adding a zero every time when you multiply because the numbers increase by 10 times. Right, let's add some multiplication into the mix. So when multiplying by patterns of 10, Let's go ahead and check out these patterns. So, if I have the number 3, and I multiply 3 times 10, I'm doing 3 times 1 is 3, add that 1 zero. 3 times 100, I'm going to do the same thing. I like to say multiply the base, 3 times 1 is 3, and I'm going to add those two zeros, 300. 3 times 1,000 is 3 times 1 again, and I'm adding those three zeros. So the pattern will increase. All I'm doing is multiplying the base, and the amount of zeros I have in my factor, that is going to be the number of zeros in my product. All right, so now let's dig deeper into the standard. So we're going to multiply and divide by 10, 100, and 1,000. One thing that I like to tell my students in the classroom is a way to remember, when you're multiplying, you're gonna move the decimal to the right, and when you divide, you're gonna move the decimal to the left. So we kind of make it like a little cool song, multiply to the right, divide to the left. Multiply to the right, divide to the left. So I'll show you what that looks like. So say I have the decimal three, and 63 hundredths, and I want to multiply this by 100. So, right now I'm going to look at my operation. I know that I'm going to multiply, so I am moving my decimal to the right. Now, the number of zeros tell you how many times you're going to move that decimal to the right. So here, I have two zeros, so I'm going to move two places to the right. This is also called 10 to the second power. So I'm going to bring my 3.63 down, and I want to move my decimal two places to the right. That's one space, two spaces. So my decimal moves from in between the ones and the tens place, to right here. So my new answer is 363. So I went from 3 and 63 hundredths to 363. So what that means is if I look at my place value, my 3 was in the ones place. Now my 3 is in the hundreds place because 100 is 100 times greater than 1. So I shifted over 100 times, which is two place values because of the two zeros. Also take note that I don't have a decimal in this number anymore because this is a whole number. 
Usually there's an imaginary decimal behind the ones place, but because I have a whole number and we typically don't write like that, I don't need that decimal place. But here, the decimal in three and 63 hundredths separated the ones from the tenths place. So it should also be noted that the digit in front of the decimal is the ones place and the place value immediately after the decimal is the tenths place. So I moved from the ones in between the ones and the tenths to after the hundredths place. It was the hundredths. So now everything shifted over. So as my decimal shifted to the right, my numbers actually shifted to the left because in a place value chart, when your numbers move to the left, they increase 10 times. Now let's look at a division problem. I have 12 divided by 10 to the fourth power. Again, looking at our little chart, when I divide, I'm going to the left. So I have my division sign. That means I'm moving my decimal to the left. Well, how many places am I moving it? I'm moving it four places to the left. So this is interesting. I have a whole number and I don't have a decimal. So what you need to remember is there is a decimal right behind the ones place. We can assume that the two is in the ones place because it's the last digit. So my decimal is going to be here and I'm going to move it four times. One, two, three, and four. So here I have some empty spaces and I don't have anything. So that's when you're going to add a zero. So my decimal shifted from right behind the ones place to now I moved over four spaces. So now this is my tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and ten thousandths. So my answer point zero zero one two okay now this is your time to try I want you to go ahead get your three P's your pencil paper and your positive mindset and I want you to pause this video and try this problem All right if you got point zero four eight three then you are correct so I brought my problem down here I moved my decimal two places to the left because it says divide and I have 10 to the second power. So I moved it over one, two, so it's 0 0.0483. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and invite.